What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. I just don't know how to take what I'm feeling right now well. <laughs> I'll show you how to take something well. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> okay. I gotta stop. I'm sorry. That was horrible. Fellas, welcome back to the channel. Today. Fellas, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, let's get into it. Come on. Let's jump right in and break it all down. Do we think 40 is too old to date a girl in their late 20s? No. Like, I'm 27, but my friend disagrees and she says I need someone younger to keep up with my lifestyle. But all the guys my age don't want to settle down. So here I am. What do we think? I think it's fine. You like keep up with your lifestyle. What are you talking about? Well, you got some rich lifestyle. You like to go to Neiman Marcus. You like to go to Fogo to Chow for lunch. You like True Lux, huh? For breakfast? Yeah, is that what you? Like? They don't even open for breakfast. But <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Here's the problem with these women. They think, oh, I'm 27. I'm still young, which not really. Let's keep it a buck. 35 is geriatric pregnancy. You're really not young when you're 27. I mean, as a man, yes, because you're usually starting to get your career. You're really learning life. You may be starting to hit that earning potential. When I was 27, I was making okay money. I'm making much more money now as you know, as a guy who's 33. But when I was 27, I was still trying to figure out the corporate world, still trying to navigate. I didn't have a ton of experience. And that's if you stay in the same field that you're in. So ladies, here's the thing. If you're in your late 20s, you really need to be going for any man at this point, in my opinion, because the clock is ticking. Your biological clock is ticking. You, you ain't about to be able to have no more babies. You're not even going to be able to have kids after about 35 years. Geriatric pregnancy is really high risk. So, ladies, I think you should be going for these men that are in their 40s. Why not? They can actually provide you with the life that you want. You'll probably actually submit to them. You'll be submissive. And then you can get on their page and they probably make enough money. Tell me again why he hasn't married you yet. All right, ladies, I'm going to answer this question for you, and trust me when I say this, you aren't going to like what I'm about to say. And it leaves you with two choices. You can either scroll past this video where an actual man is going to tell you why men don't want to get married and deal with the reality of what he's saying and make some changes, or you can do what most women will do, which is to scroll on past it claiming nothing a man says is true, and then go about making up fantasies in your mind about why it is the men aren't wifing you up. You know, those fantasies where you and other women put the blame entirely on the men, of course, absolving yourselves of any responsibility or having to acknowledge and deal with the reality that the problem isn't men, it's you. Mm. So I'll pause for a few seconds to let you all decide which option you're going to take. I'm here for it, buddy. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right. For those of you that are still here, congratulations. There might actually be hope for you yet. So here's the three primary reasons why men won't put a ring on it. First, men know that marriage these days is essentially a one-way contract. A contract where one party 80% of the time the woman can choose to withdraw from at any time and for any reason she so desires. Back. She can simply say she's bored or that she can do better and force the man out I without- I can do better. He doesn't make me feel special. That's, that's, those are some of my favorite. Out any penalty or recourse. Something today's modern women are taking full advantage of. A contract, by the way, that would never be upheld in any court because it's so unfair except for the one court where it matters, family court. Mm -hmm. Along similar lines, men have realized that women's promise of lifelong commitment, well, it's worth about as much as a $3 bill. Men have realized that <laughs> women want to get married for the party, to show off, to have that big wedding they can flaunt over their friends or post out on social media mm -hmm. for clicks and likes. Men have realized that for today's modern women, Marriage isn't about love, respect, or honoring each other. Or it's duty. merely a business transaction. One that's so Bro, I've got a I've got a I've got a theory in my head. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this. The couples that are the happiest post the least on social media. The couples that are the unhappiest post the most on social media because they're projecting. They're projecting that they're happy and that they're trying to convince everyone else that everything's all hunky-dory, but really at home, it's not as great as it seems. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with that? Do you think couples that post on social media a lot are a lot more unhappy? Let me know. I'd be interested to see what you guys think. Solely benefits 
her. And women know this too, which is why once she's had that big wedding and gets the aforementioned signed contract, she changes and goes from being an enthusiastic, attentive partner to a dictator with ever-increasing demands for more and more and more, while at the same time offering nothing, literally nothing, in return. You see, ladies, today's men know that no matter how hard they try or how much they do, it will never be appreciated and it will never be enough. And finally, men have realized that the cards are stacked against them, both in society and in the courts. They know that if a breakup occurs, everyone will rush to support her while at the same time villainizing him, even when she's the one directly to blame for the breakup. Men have seen what happens to their friends, their family, their co-workers, and men in general, where when they go through a divorce or breakup, they lose everything. Yeah. Everything they've worked for, their house, their car, a good portion of their income, and of course, their children. All because she suddenly decided the marriage wasn't perfect or she's got to put too much effort in. So knowing all that, ask yourselves this, ladies. Would you want to get married? Because that's what men have asked themselves. They're asking themselves, what's the point? Why in God's name would I or any man ever want to get married? So I mean, he's, 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 he's preaching facts. Preach it. Preach it. My man always preaching, though. His ranch should be a little long, so we're going to skip to the end of this. See the game for what it is, and they're choosing not to play. I feel so fucking dumb. I feel so fucking dumb right now. And I'm mad that I feel dumb. Like, I just don't, I just don't know how to take what I'm feeling right now well. Here, here, here let me do it. Let me do it. Take this L. <laughs> Have it. Chew on it and swallow it. Ladies, it's okay to take L's. Us as men, we take L's all the time. Hell, I've been taking an L since I was birthed. My, uh, I've been taking an L since I was birthed. My name's Levi. <laughs> I've had an L next to me the whole time I've been alive. Come on now. Um, I deleted Bumble, first of all. Ooh, you That's only a- meet feminists on Bumble anyways. Oh, I'm crying. Oh. Um... <laughs> Fuck, I like This is why I feel dumb. Do you feel I, dumb because you're recording yourself crying on social media? I knew <laughs> that there was no way I was going to see that person I went on a great date with again. But for some fucking reason, for the past few days, I've had it in my head. I was like, but it would be really nice to. Why am I thinking about him so much often lately? Like, is there Stupid. a reason? I, and then oh. fucking my head like I hate that my mind does this I really do I hate how fast I can fucking romanticize people I f- really can't stand how much I romanticize other people can't stand it I can't stand it I actually wish I was fucking cold hearted fucking ass bitch like I just language honey <laughs> goodness gracious she's a runner she's a track star the reason why I'm sad is because I was so nervous to text him. I haven't texted him since we stopped talking. And I just felt like saying hi. And then he replied right away. Like, And when people reply right, to me, right away, for some reason, it makes me feel like, shit, they don't really want to talk to me. Like, I instantly felt that. As soon as I got his message, I was like, I feel like this is not going to go anywhere. What? And then I ended up saying, like, because we were just like, hey, how are you? And then I end up saying, like, would you be open to talking casually with me? Because it's really nice to know there's another adventurous person out there. Stupid. But he met someone when he got back. And things are actually really good for him. Good. High perform. So he doesn't want to jeopardize it. And I, I was like, I said thank you for the fast replies and that I'm really I'm genuinely happy for him because I really am here's the thing that these modern women seem to forget here's the freaking thing dude ladies if he qualifies for you he probably qualifies for a lot of other women so if you feel like you're just gonna shoot a little shot maybe go for a little baby layup and be like I think I really got this guy in the bag that's not gonna happen stupid 
Ladies, you better be out there trying. You better be out there shooting your shot like 93 Jordan. You better be going for straight buckets, okay? Because if you're not trying, another girl is. That's the thing with you ladies. Y'all all think you're so special and that you deserve princess treatment. No, 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 no. You wanted equality, so now you need to be out in these streets trying. She's a runner, she's a track star. See, even Loki knows. You gotta be out there trying. Because if he qualifies for you, he qualifies for a few. Write it down. Write it down. If he qualifies for you, he qualifies for a few. I think that's what these ladies seem to forget. You're not special. And if you like him, probably other girls do too. And then... Oh, it gets better. I love it when girls go through their bop this lore. This part is why I'm crying. Like, <laughs> Let me put in the comments, please. Hashtag bop lore. We gotta make this. We gotta make this term. We gotta make this term popular. Bop lore. Put it in the chat. I feel like it happens to me every fucking time. This makes me proud. The sympademic is uh, the sympademic is dying. Like, I do think that meeting you was a catalyst. <laughs> Bro, where does this girl live, first of all? Hot Wheels on the wall? Are you at your grandma's house? Shots fired! Shots fired! Where are you at? And opening up my heart so I could meet her. I'm really grateful I met you. And I wish you the best of luck. And I just... Stupid. <laughs> He said he's really happy that he met me because he thinks it was a catalyst to him being able to... Hey, don't let your situation ship stop you from finding a girlfriend, bro. <laughs> That's probably what she was. Just helping these men find their wives. Oh, he is for the relationship that he's in. Mm. And a part of me is really glad he told me that, like genuinely, because I, I want to see it the same way. Ooh. See, we call these types of girls the stepping stones. They help you step over them, realize how rat shit crazy these women are to get to the next one so you can learn how to manipulate them a little bit more correctly. Um, but no, these women, these are just the at-bat women. She seemed crazy as hell. I think hell. little is just... The fact of how fast I started to romanticize after a couple days, like just recently, because when he left, I knew I wanted this to be like a detached thing. Like I wanted to keep him as, you know, a creative inspiration for me. I wanted just just that. Is like, that a new word? She's a runner. She's a track star. For being a runner, a creative inspiration. I was like, you know, that was great. That was a great experience. But I think if I'm being honest. I haven't been on a date since then, and it's not because I ha don't want to, it's because there's just no one who give has given me the same thing. Everybody still talks about themselves on Bumble. Everybody only wants You've literally been ranting about yourself this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> You've literally been talking about yourself this entire time. Stands on Bumble, and it's just... I guess after meeting him, I was really hoping I would just meet more people who were, who gave me like genuine interest. And it just. Well, clearly he actually wasn't genuinely interested in you. That's why he dropped you like a bad habit. I've been talking about genuine interest. I feel bad for guys. If this is what y'all got to deal with, this is brutal, bro. I definitely don't want to think there's no one else like that out there. I don't want to think that. No, here's the thing. There probably isn't but, another guy like that. This is why I think these women need to keep their body counts low. Because now she's going to have all this trauma from this guy because she got her heart broken because he didn't want her. And now she's going to go out to the next guy and hope that this next guy has some of the qualities that the previous guy had. This is what we call in the industry Frankensteining a man. She's going to go out there and try to Frankenstein this man. Well, well, he had Mark's pee pee and he had Joe's hair and they had Chris's legs. Like, stop going out there getting all this mileage. Find a guy that's on your level and just try to bag each other. Shoot your shot, get this man. Like, I, I think the stat came out the other day, it's like 80% of women that go out there and shoot their shot with men are successful. That's a very high rate. 
I bet it on the opposite when men shoot their shot, I bet there's like a 5% success rate and we're still expected to pursue. Uh, 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 you guys need to go out there and pursue now. And I'm sure if she would have tried just a little harder or, or maybe not been so clingy, she would have been fine. But there's, I, I'm seeing some red flags right here. The constant crying, the constant need for validation. She seems very insecure. I don't want to be with a girl that's super insecure. Not, not really. Let me know in the comments. Would you want to be with a girl who's really insecure? Not me. I'm definitely really tired about trying now. Like, I'm so tired of trying for it. I feel so closed off about it. That's the problem. You need to keep trying. The older you get, the more I'm you so need to try. I'm so tired about feeling second choice. I think I'm taking it harder because that was actually the last answer I was expecting. But at least he told me right away. I'm grateful. Are you? <sighs> Cue the violence. I just feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I feel like a fucking idiot for getting excited. <laughs> the you past are. day, getting ready to fucking text him and. I'm sorry, but if you're <laughs> falling in love with a guy after three dates, you're emotionally immature, honey. You're you're just a child. This is why I say women grow old; they never grow up. They were these women mature to the age of fourteen, and then that's like pretty much it. I'm so fucking stupid. Like, is she acting like a grown up here? <laughs> and I can't let go of that. Like, I can't let go of how stupid I feel. Go do <laughs> like, something. Why did I even think like he was open to it? Why did I think he was not gonna find someone? <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was this hideous feather oh on your Oh my god, I feel arm. fucking crushed and stupid. <laughs> it's a familiar story, uh, isn't it? Yeah, every every modern woman has gone through this. Poor little girl. But the thing is, it's what it is. You ladies wanted equality and you got it. whoop de doo Though, so, we'll keep here seeing the same story play out time and time again. I wonder why no one will date me. I wonder why no one will date me. I'm not being picky as fuck. I know why. I'm psycho. I'm psycho cuckoo fucking bananas. I don't shut the fuck up for longer than 10 seconds. You can't even enjoy a moment of silence around me. You want to know my family medical history? Sure. You want to ask about my last relationship? Sit down. I got timelines to tell you about. This is Marvel, honey. Okay? We're in the multiverse. I'm a good storyteller, too. But I'm just so fucking skinny that I'm waiting for someone to look past all those things. The question that needs Dude, to be I love it. At least she's honest. See, th these are the kind of girls you just run through. She's a runner. She's a track star. Those are the kind of girls you just go get some more experience in the sheets. You, you don't date these women. <laughs> you don't date these. If she's saying all that stuff to me, like kind of from the jump, bro, <laughs> I'm running like Noah Lyles. Looking for love isn't working out for you. Date for money. I'm being dead serious. My dating approach has been unbelievably pure for my entire life. Never cared about the financial status of the guy, have dated people with less money than me, have always gone 50-50 in relationships, has never been financially taken care of by a guy. I just wanted to fall in love and have a genuine partnership and connection with someone. And guess where that's gotten me? Used, taken advantage of single my ex who i thought i was in love with at the time we split everything 50 50 including rent we lived together that he was never gonna marry me he was never gonna settle down with me every guy who i've had genuine feelings for has just hurt me i got to the point where I uh, just wait a minute maybe it's your fault just saying a lot of guys in the equation a lot of variables the common denominator is you Let's see if she owns up to any accountability or if it's just all the men's fault. I just stopped dating. I was like, men are just ruining my life. Until I realized, what if I just start thinking like a man? What if I just start getting what I need out of these relationships instead of worrying about the genuine love and connection that we share? You don't get to choose if that's gonna be there or not anyway. So if you stumble upon love, amazing. But if you don't, you're still getting something out of the deal. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out but if you are a lover girl that keeps getting burned hey what if you just got what you needed from men how about that i love how it it's just the good old bop lore i love it man i love it how about you try that and let me know how it goes it's interesting how this woman claims <laughs> it's just so funny to me <laughs> start dating for money <laughs> you're a bop <laughs> you've been ran she's a runner she's a track star these women go out there and get all this trauma and all this mileage and think, where are all the good men? Where were all your good decisions? How about that? Where was all that? Loki, 
he's tired today man we've been playing fetch like crazy he is worn out we had some company over earlier but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. The way this thing is selling, it's like hotcakes right now. It seems like you guys are getting a lot of value out of it. It's going to be a bestseller. I almost bet you. If we put it on Amazon, it'd be a bestseller. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.